Ah, and it was a good one. Hello again, everybody. I'm Fred Cowgill. And I'm Rick Van Hoos. Welcome to High School Playbook on the second week of the prep football season. Our UPSJobs.com game of the week is a battle between two longtime Jefferson County rivals. Fred, you know this. Always yes. an emotional game when yes. Mail and Ballard line up. The Bruins haven't beaten the Bulldogs since 2009. WLKY's Andrew Chernoff had a front row seat for this one. <laughs> For the first time in over a decade, the Ballard Bruins have beaten the male Bulldogs. The last time the Bruins beat the Bulldogs was 2009. First drive of the game, though, Mail marches down the field. Daniel Sweeney finds Paydirt from a yard out. Bulldogs have an early 7-0 lead. Late first half, the Bulldogs lead 7-5, trying to add three more, but Ballard special teams has other ideas. The field goal attempt is blocked by Gavin Willis. It goes right to Jaden Minkins, who does the rest. Minkins takes it to the house. The 66-yard return gives Ballard its first lead of the night. Bruins led 12-7 at the break. The Ballard defense was so big for the team in the second half. End of the third quarter, they get that fourth down stop. And then late fourth quarter, still 12-7 Bruins. Mail airing it out when the Lucas Cobbler pass is picked off by Montel Campbell. The Ballard Bruins win 12-7. Head coach Adrian Morton receives a Gatorade bath because his Bruins become the first JCPS program since 2013 to beat Mail in the regular season. Proud of my kids, man. They fought hard. We told them it wouldn't be easy. We told them it was going to be a low scoring game. You know, you just had to earn it. These boys came here and they earned it tonight. And I couldn't be more proud of them. What does this mean to this program? Everything. Everything. You know, we get left outside and we had to prove it. We had to prove we belong in the hunt. We proved it tonight. We got to keep playing ball. We got a lot of big games coming up. But tonight we celebrate. Tonight's for the Bruins. It was all about preparation. Like, we had nonstop preparation, preparation. Coach told us we got to lock in. We got to hit seven. We got to do all these things. He gave, he put a lot on us in a week. But we knew we had to do. This student section was rocking tonight. How much did that affect you guys on the field? Hey, hey, shout out to, hey, shout out to the pit, man. Shout out to the pit. Hey, they did y'all, th y'all did y'all things tonight. The Bruins will hope to keep this momentum going next Friday when they play at South Oldham.